Hey, it's Avi from JustRightMusic.com. Don't use the stock amps in GarageBand or Logic. Don't get me wrong, as far as free amp sims go, they're really not that bad, but they're also not that good. So today, I want to show you another way to use Amp Designer to get a much better guitar tone. Now before we get into it, hit the subscribe button and bell below for more videos helping you get everything out of the way so you can, you know, just, just write music, man. Just do that. Just do that one. Let's, let's get into logic here. This is Amp Designer. This guy. Really, pretty solid. Pretty solid amp sim. For sure. Now, you really can get some solid tones out of it. Except for the crunchy or distorted tones. They just really don't sound that good and it takes a lot of tweaking to make them useful. Believe me, I've, I've done it. There's another way. The cabinet IRs, or impulse responses, are the simulations of different speakers and guitar cabinets. That's this guy over here. And the ones in Logic are actually surprisingly good. So let's use them, but ditch the amps. Here's how. Now the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is to set up the signal flow. This means making sure all your plugins, pedals, and effects are in the right order. Signal flow is the actual path and order the sound hits the amps and effects and stuff. The order I'm using here is pretty classic. You, you can honestly just go ahead and copy it. Treat this exactly like you would analog gear. Same principles apply. For example, you wouldn't have a distortion pedal be put after the amp and cabinet. You can see here it's before the amp and cabinet. Here, that's the TS-99 right there. 9999. Keep in mind that the type of sound or guitar tone that you're going for will call for different decisions. Now, we've got our signal flow set up. Let's bring in the amps in. First, in Logic or GarageBand, it'll be virtually identical, maybe with some slight UI differences. You wanna open up Amp Designer right here. In order to get to Amp Designer, you just wanna go into Amps and Pedals, then click on Amp Designer, then click Mono for the guitar track that you're gonna be going into. You wanna make sure that you go into this Amp section down here and click Transparent Preamp all the way at the bottom. This is a pretty solid preamp. It's got some coloring, it's a little dark, but it's not too bad. Make sure all the knobs here are set to noon or five. You can do this just by double clicking them like this. Boom, I double clicked it and it just went right up there. Super easy, really, really nice. Do it to all of them and really make sure that all of these switches here for the effects, the reverb and the effects here, make sure that that's off. We don't want any of that. Next, we want to add the plugin for your preferred amp simulator. So for my case, I'm using Ignite's Emissary amp, which is just fantastic. I'm in love with it. Now we have our amp all set up. I got my settings all set up right here for the tone I'm going for, which is a, a distorted tone. Finally, we're gonna go back into Amp Designer so that we can pick the cab, the mic, and the mic placement. So you wanna go right next to where we chose the cab, and you may have already gotten ahead of me at this point. So let's go through some of these options right here. I have my amp set up more or less the way I like it, and we're just going to pop through these to see what the sound difference is. I'm gonna loop this little riff here and let's see how we do.
All right. So I definitely like the modern American sound the best. Now let's check out the differences between how the mics themselves sound. <laughs> So we can also move the placement like this. Get some different sounds out of it. So the one I wound up going with was this Dynamic 20, and these are modeled off of different mics. This one's definitely an SM57, uh, but this is the one that I preferred for this uh, for this cab here, and this, uh, this whole combination. Furthermore, you can manually adjust the placement of the mic too, over here with this little pop-up. It just pops up right there when you hover over it. I usually like it pretty centered and, and just like an inch, like see, just like barely uh, off, barely off center. Just it, it takes off a little bit of the, the harsh high end, in my opinion. This is a lot. This is a lot to choose from, but let the tone that you're looking for be your guide. So that's basically it. You're now using a free third party amp sim while still taking advantage of the solid cabinet impulse responses in GarageBand and Logic. You're doing it. But since we're already here, I want to give you a quick overview of how to dial in your tone. The first thing we want to do is put all of our EQ knobs at noon or five on our amps. I'm going to make a quick duplicate of this guy right here. Go up here and I'm just going to bring everything back to the center. This gives us more or less a neutral sound from the amp. More importantly, it gives us a starting point in case we want to, you know, start over. It's insane how much time can be wasted sitting here tweaking. The next thing you want to do is start turning the knobs and flipping the switches and notice what you like. So what I'm going to do right now is take this little riff that I wrote for this video, you're welcome, and I'm just going to loop it. We have a little drum beat behind it, and we're just going to start playing with some knobs, okay? Here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
how as I was going through here, I was going through all of the EQ here and taking it all the way down, turning it all the way up, getting a really clear idea of what this pot is doing to the sound, what the knob is doing to the sound. I usually tend to, to go a little bit less intense than what I want to, because what I think, I think these subtle changes are really what make the difference here. But that said, use your ears, and if you like the treble or presence or something all the way cranked, Crank it, do it, man, you do you. The big thing I want you to take away here though is to try to limit yourself to just five or 10 minutes of this. It's easy to just keep tweaking away for hours and hours, and the worst part is ear fatigue, fatigue? Ear fatigue will set in and you'll wind up making crappy decisions. Been there, done that. The other big takeaway I want you to get from this is that when you're using the EQ, it's really important to turn the like button all the way up by clicking it for the YouTube algorithm. What? I got it. I'm in there. I'm in there, you guys. I got it. The best thing you can do here is to find a reference tone or a reference track to work off of. Basically, find the guitar sound you're going for in a song that already exists and try to match it sonically. This is a classic move in the audio world and really won't let you down. This way, you can also be sure that the tone that you're going for is actually good because an artist, the engineers, the producers, and the label all signed off on it. You're using a lot of ears to your benefit. So there you have it. That's how you use Amp Designer, a free plugin in GarageBand or Logic, along with the amp sim of your choice. Not only that, but we also got a little mini overview of how to dial in your tone. So that's neat. Did you know about this? Have you heard about this? Let me know in the comments. Alternatively, you can comment to tell me that my tone is crap. I get it. Welcome to the part of the video where I tell you to go get a thing. Now that you've got your tone set up, like all of all of that over here, all of this over here, I just gestured in real life, you can't see me. It's time to start songing some starts. Uh, I mean, starting some songs. What did I say? My three-step song starter is exactly the thing you didn't even know you needed unless you did. It's a simple formula. It's an easy to understand language. It'll get you song starting in no time at all, or just a few minutes, one of those or both. Head to justrightmusic.com slash song starter to grab your free copy. There's a link down in the doobly-doo. Thanks so much for watching and for hanging with me today. I'm Avi from justrightmusic.com and don't forget to be awesome.